Hello and welcome to another session on Java programming. In this session, we are going to understand the various access modifiers available in Java. We'll be looking at the following access modifiers, public, private, default, and protected. We'll understand the behavior of these access modifiers with respect to packages, sub-packages, and inheritance. So if you're new to the concepts on objects and classes, packages, sub-packages, or inheritance, I want you to first visit my lectures on these concepts. I'll be leaving the link for the lectures in the description below. First visit those concepts and then come to this session. If you're interested in downloading the code that we are going to use in this session, then please visit codespindle.com under the category programming, select Java. And on the left hand side, you'll be finding the title access modifiers. When you click on access modifiers, you'll be able to find the code that we are using in this demonstration on that specific page. So let's move to the demonstrations straight away. We'll start with understanding each of the access modifiers one by one. We'll start with uh, the public access modifier first. So we'll understand the behavior of public access modifier using various scenarios. Let's take a look at the first scenario. The first scenario is about accessing public variables, variables that have this access modifier defined as public within a class. So we are going to create a package called V8 University. Inside that package, we'll have this class person and we'll have two variables that are of type string and the access modifier we specify is public. So these two variables are public. The question is, can we access these two variables within the methods of the same class? So here I have this method. Can I access name and address within the method that belongs to the same class? So the answer to this is yes. When you declare something as public, you'll be able to access those variables within the methods of that class. So this is a very basic concept, but then this will be helpful for us uh, to understand the behavior of uh, access modifiers like default and protected in the coming slides. So we'll go in for a demo of this. We'll create this package, this class, and then we'll uh, create these two variables. We'll try to access them within the method. Let's take a look at the demonstration now. So I have created a test project in Eclipse, and now I'm going to add a package. So this package is called V8 University. So right click and then go to new and then give the package name as uh, VIT University. So that's the package. The package is created. Now let's create this class person. So new class inside this package. So you call this class to be a person class. And inside this person class, we are going to have two variables. So here we have this person class. We're going to have two variables of type string. One is name, another one is a string address. Now we'll define the access modifiers to be public here. So this is public, this is of type public. We'll access these two variables inside another uh, method, public method of this class. We'll call this public void uh, test public access. And uh, I'm just going to access these two methods is out uh, this dot name plus this dot address. So what is it we are able to see here is uh, we are not getting any errors here. If you're not able to access any of these variables, you'll be getting an error. But here we're not getting any errors. So what we understand is we can access the public data members of a class within the methods of the class. I hope you are able to follow this. Let's go to the next scenario. Now let's go to scenario two. Scenario two is accessing public variables of a class within another class that resides in the same package. So here is the visualization for this. So you have this V8 University package. We know about this class person, which you have just now created. Now the question is, we have another class. We have some methods within the class. Can we access the public data members of the class person within the methods of the class faculty? The answer to this question is yes. If you declare something to be public, you can access it within the class. You can also access these data members outside the class. We can directly access them in another class. Now the scenario here is both the classes are within the same package. So let's understand this by a demonstration. So we should be adding another class uh, faculty to the package. So how is that we normally add a class to the packages? We go with uh, the package name, the new, and then we add a class file. So here for demonstration purposes, uh, so that we can visualize it uh, far better. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to code the uh, new class inside the same file here. So we're going to have class uh, faculty. So these two classes or uh, 
inside this package called v8 university so inside this class let me code a method public void test access method and uh, we're going to create an object of type person because the scenario here is we should be able to access these two public data members within the methods of this class and these two classes are in the same package so let me create an object of type person person p is equal to new person and uh, we'll just try and print uh, p dot name and p dot address you see i'm able to access it right p dot address so there are no issues reported here so what is that we understand here we can access public data members within the class and also in methods outside the class so this is another class we are accessing the data members here outside uh, the class and these two classes are in the same package i hope you are able to follow the demonstration now let's go to scenario number three. This is scenario number three that is accessing variables having the access modifier as public within another class using inheritance and both these classes are in the same package. So we'll understand this within visualization here. So we have this V8 university package and we have this class person and two public data members declared here. We have created this. Now we'll have another class called assistant professor which will extend person. So there is inheritance relationship between these two classes. Now the question is, can we access these two public data members within methods of this class? So can I access these two data members within a method of this class, which is inheriting this class person and both these classes are inside the same package. The answer to this question is yes. So here we have two classes within the same package and they have an inheritance relationship. So from the child class, can I access the parents class public data members? Straight and simple, right? So now let's uh, understand this with a demonstration. So we have this class person here. What is that we are going to perform here is we are going to have another class called assistant uh, professor within the same package and this is going to extend person so here we are having inheritance relationship between person and assistant professor the question is can i access these two data members within the methods of this class that is extending the person class so let me create a method here we'll call this public void test access uh, and uh, we'll just try and access this out this dot name see i'm able to access it plus this dot address a child class can access the public data members of the parent class. And here the scenario is both the classes are within the same package. Uh, you may be wondering uh, why is that we are going uh, step by step with a public data member because public whenever you declare something to be public that's accessible inside the class outside the class within the package outside the package it's public. But I'm just going step by step scenario by scenario because it will be helpful for us in understanding the other access modifiers like default and protected. We are going to take up all these scenarios for those uh, uh, access modifiers too. So if you're able to follow this, you'll be able to follow that too. Now let's go in for scenario number four with respect to public. Now let us understand scenario number four that is accessing public variables of a class within another class that is inside a sub package let's visualize it we have vat university package inside this we have this class person now we're going to create a sub package called scope the name of the sub package is scope and then we are going to access the public data members within the methods of another class called scope faculty so can we really access the public data members of a class within the methods of another class that is present within a sub package the answer to this is yes when it is public you can access it anywhere now let us go to the demonstration so now the scenario is we need to create a sub package uh, called scope and then a class inside that sub package and try and access these two public data members within that uh, sub package so how is that you create a sub package you go to the package v8 university you create a new package you name it as VAT University dot scope to say it's a sub package. So the sub package is created inside this. We are going to add this new class called uh, scope faculty. So we'll call this uh, scope faculty. And uh, inside this uh, 
class, we're going to have this public method, public void test access, wherein we are going to access the data members of the person class. So we'll also import uh, VIT university dot person. So we need that uh, class and we'll create an object of type person here. Person P is equal to new person. And uh, can we really access P dot name? Yes, we can access C P dot name, P dot address. See, when you're able to access Eclipse automatically suggests that, right? P dot, I get name and P dot address. So we're not having any issues here. What is it we understand is we can access the public data members of a class within the methods of another class that resides within the sub package of this package. I hope you are able to follow this. So we have uh, looked at the behavior of public variables with respect to sub packages too. Now let's go to scenario number five. Now let's take a look at scenario number five. Scenario number five is all about accessing public variables of a class within another class that's actually outside the package. So you have two different packages now. So let's visualize it. We have VIT University package and we have our class person. We have two public data members here. Now the scenario is we have another package called demo package. Inside this, we have a class called demo class. And we are trying to access from within a method of this class, we are trying to access the public data members of this class person. Can we really access it? The answer to this is yes. As long as it is a public uh, data member, you can access it from anywhere. So here the scenario is two different packages and uh, having a class in another package from within the method of this class trying to access the public data members of this specific class called person. So we'll take a demonstration of this now. So here is the demo. We have this demo class under a default package. And what is it we are going to perform here is we are going to import VIT university package person class. And we are going to create an object of type person here. So it is a person P is equal to to person. And we'll try and see whether we can access the public data members of person. So we have P dot name and P dot address. See, I'm able to access it. There are no issues in accessing it. So what is it we understand here is, so you have a class with public data members inside a package V8 University. And we can very well access the public data members within another package that is within another class. So here we have a demo class which is present in a default package and we are creating an object of type person and we are able to access the public data members without any issues. So scenario five is done. Let's go to scenario six. Now let's take a look at scenario six. Scenario six is all about accessing public variables of a class within another class that's uh, present outside the package and it's using inheritance. We'll visualize it. So we have VIT university package. We have created the class person. Now we have another package. This is the default package and uh, we'll be having a class employee and this class will extend class person. Now we have a class outside the package that is inheriting this class person. Now the question is, can I access the public data members of the person class within the methods of the employee class? So employee is the child class, person is the parent class. And uh, these two classes are in two different packages. The answer to this question is yes. Now let's go in for a demonstration of this. So we have our uh, default package and we have our demo class. Now the point is we have a class employee. This is another class outside the package, right? This extends uh, the class person. See, when I say outside the package, class employee is not in the same package of class person, but employee is extending person. The question is, can employee class access the public data members of the person class? So let's have this uh, method inside employee public uh, void test access. And uh, let me try and print this out. This dot name. You see, I'm able to access it, right? This dot address. I'm not creating an object of type person here because employee extends person. 
so the variables of person should be like the variables of employee i'm talking about public uh, variables here and what is that we understand here is though these two classes are two in two different packages and when employee extends person employee can access the public data members of the person class so that is scenario number 6 i hope you are able to follow the demonstration that's it we are done with public now what is that we understand from public data members they are accessible from anywhere you can access them within the class outside the class within the same package or within a sub package or within two different packages and you can use inner returns and you can access them anywhere so that is all about public data members but i want you to have a complete understanding of all these scenarios so that we'll be able to understand the behavior of private default and protected easily if you are able to follow all these scenarios you'll be able to understand the behavior of these uh, access modifiers that we're going to see now easily okay so let's go to the next access modifier private now now let us take a look at the behavior of uh, access modifier private so let's uh, take a look at accessing private uh, variables within a class so we'll be again going through the six scenarios but with respect to private variables so here we have vit university package and we have this class person now we are going to have two private data members name and address the question is can you access two private data members within the methods of the same class the answer is yes even though these two data members are private you can access them within the data members of the same class so answer to scenario number 1 is yes so we'll go through all these scenarios and then we'll take a demo of all these things together scenario number 2 is we are going to access private variables within another class that resides in the same package that is we have this class person so here it is actually private it's a typo so we are going to have two private variables private private and uh, we are going to have another class faculty from within a method of the class faculty we are going to try and access the private data members can we access them no when a variable is given the access modifier private it can be accessed from only within that specific class so you cannot access these variables outside the class scenario number 3 what is scenario number 3 accessing private variables of a class within another class using inner returns within the same package so when you visualize it you'll be able to understand it that is you have this class person two private data members you have another class assistant professor which extends person now there's an inner returns relationship can assistant professor actually access the private data members of the class person so this is the parent class this is the child class and the scenario is both these classes are in the same package whatsoever this class cannot access the private data members of this class so the answer to this is no you can't access it scenario number 4 is all about accessing private variables of a class within another class that is inside a sub package so this is the sub package case so you have this vit university you have class person you're going to create another sub package and within this sub package you have a class called scope faculty can i really access the private data members of a class inside sub package no you can't access them you can't access the private data members outside the class whatsoever scenario number 5 accessing private variables of a class within another class outside the package so it's like you have two packages and you're going to have a demo class here and uh, within the methods of this uh, class we are going to access the private data members of this class is it possible no you can't access them you can access private data members only within methods of the same class okay so the answer to this is no scenario number 6 what is that we have seen again we have two different packages we have uh, a class person with two private data members and in this uh, class that is in a separate package we're going to have class employee extending so there is an inheritance relationship between two classes that reside in two different packages now the question is from within a method of employee can i access the private data members of this class so from the child class which is in a different package can i access the parent class private data members the answer to this is no so except for scenario 1 for all the scenarios the answer is no so what is that we understand here is 
you can access the private data members only within that specific class. No matter uh, whatever the scenarios, whether the class is in the same package or whether the class is in, in a package outside, you cannot use another class to access the private data members of a specific class. So let's go in for a quick demonstration. We'll, uh, you'll see we'll get a lot of errors when we try to access them. We have this V8 university package, we have this class person. What is it I'm going to perform here is I'm going to just modify everything to private. So earlier it was public where we were able to access it across packages. Now when it is private, you see what's happening. Can I access the private variables within the class? There are no issues here. So I'm able to access the private variables within the class. Scenario number one is done. Scenario number two is I have a class faculty that resides in the same package as that of person and I'm creating an object of type person trying to access the private data members, cannot access private data members. No matter if it's in the same package, no, no issues, we cannot access them. Scenario number three is we have another class assistant professor inheriting class person. Now there's an inheritance relationship and both these classes are inside the same package. But can I access the private data members? Again, it's a no. You see, there are issues reported. There's a red mark here. It says uh, the field is not visible, so you cannot access it. No, you cannot access. You have a, you have a subclass, superclass relationship. And uh, both these classes are within the same package, but still the subclass cannot access the private data members of the superclass. So now let's move on to scenario number four. Scenario number four is trying to access the private data members of the person class within a sub package called scope that is present inside V8 university package. So here, this is this uh, sub package scope. So within this package, sub package, I have the scope faculty and I'm trying to access the private data members of the person class directly here. See, I cannot access it. So I have another class within a sub package. I'm trying to access the private data members of the person class within the methods of this class. So can I access it? I cannot access it. So except for scenario one, all the scenarios, the answer will be a no. So you cannot access the private data members of a class within a sub package too. What is scenario number five? I have a class called demo class, which is actually in a package called a uh, default package. And uh, we are, we are importing this uh, person class from V8 university and I'm creating an object of type person and I'm trying to access it. So I'm not able to access it. So we're just trying to access the private data members of a class inside another class that is in a different package. That is scenario number five. If you're confused, please refer to the slide now. So scenario number five, the answer is no. You see you're getting issues here. You cannot access it. Scenario number six is you have two classes in two different packages. Person is in V8 university package. Employee is in uh, my default package. Now employee extends person. There's an inheritance relationship between these two classes that are in two different packages. Can I access the private data members of the person class from within the employee class? So I'm trying to access the private data members of the person class name and address here. You see here, you're getting an issue. So what is that we understand here is you cannot access private data members of a parent class inside the child class. If they are, a, if they are within the same package or if they are uh, in two different package, just it doesn't matter. You cannot access private data members. I hope you're clear with how private uh, access modifiers behave with respect to packages, sub packages and inheritance. The rule is very simple. You can access private data members only within the methods of that specific class. I hope you are able to follow this. Now let's move on to the next access modifier called default. Now let us understand the behavior of the default access modifier in Java. So how you declare default access modifier is you don't mention anything. Say when you just declare two fields, string name and string address, and you, and you don't say anything, like it becomes uh, the default access modifier. Let's understand the default access modifier again using the six scenarios. So scenario one, I have declared two default access uh, variables of uh, type default access modifier. Can I access them within the methods of the same class? The answer to this is yes. So 
name and address or two variables having the access modifier to be default and I'll be able to access them within the methods of the same class. Let's go to scenario number two. What is scenario number two? Can I access the default variables of a class within another class that resides in the same package? So here V8 University class person. So two default variables here. Another class which is in the same package. So V8 University contains person and faculty. The question is, so within a method inside the faculty class, can I access the default variables? The answer to this is yes, you'll be able to access it. So when two classes are within the same package, you'll be able to access the default variables of one of the classes inside the methods of the another class. So it's an yes. Let's go to scenario number three, accessing default variables using inheritance with two different classes inside the same package. So let's visualize it. So we have class person, two default variables. We have class assistant professor, extending person. So this is the child class. This is the parent class. These two classes are in the same package. Now the question is, can I access the default variables within the child class? The answer to this is yes you can access the default variables of the parent class within the child class and uh, these two classes are present in the same package that is scenario number three the answer to that question is yes let's go to scenario number four accessing default variables of a class within another class inside a sub package so here you have sub package concepts i have i have this v8 university package i have this class person I have two default variables declared here. Now the concept is I have a different uh, package that is the sub package called scope and that is present inside V8 university package and from within class uh, scope faculty from within a method inside this class can I access the default variables? The answer to this is no. See default variables can be accessed only within uh, the same within the classes that occur in the same package. Now, when you talk about default variables getting directly accessed within another class, within a sub package, then the answer is going to be a no for this. And the scenario number five is like you're going to have two different packages and this class person having two default variables and we have a demo class inside another package. So this is the default package which I have from within the methods of this demo class. Can I access the default variables? Since this class is outside the package, you cannot access the default variables. The answer to this is a no. Let's go to scenario number six. Again, you're going to have two different packages and two different classes and two different packages. Default variables declared in one of the classes. This class employee inherits this class person. Now there is an inheritance relationship. Can I directly access the default variables? in the child class. See, these two classes are two different packages. So can I really access the uh, variables uh, using the child class uh, reference? The answer to this is no, you cannot access it. So default variables are accessible only within the classes that occur in the same package with respect to inheritance, with respect to sub packages. If they are in two different uh, uh, packages, then definitely you cannot access default variables. Let's uh, go and take a look at the demonstration of this now. So let's uh, go to the scenario number one. So we have class person. How is that you declare default access uh, variables with default access modifier? Yes. You, you don't mention anything. So now name and address comes under default access modifiers. So this uh, name is of uh, is having the access modifier to be default and address is having the access modifier to be default. Now, can I access these two variables within the method of the class person? Yes, I can access it. See, for scenario number one, the answer is yes, I can access it. Are you all able to follow this? Now, let's go to scenario number two. Scenario number two is I have this class faculty, which is in the same package as of class person. So both these classes are inside V8 University package. And uh, what is it I'm trying to perform here is create an object of type person and access name and address. Now you see I'm not having any issues. I'm able to access name and address. So I can I can access 
name and address so i can access default variables of one of the classes inside the method of another class that resides in the same package so scenario number uh, two is an yes the answer to scenario number two is an yes let's go to scenario number three what is scenario number three you are the person class you are the assistant professor class extending person class so there is an inner written relationship between two classes that are present in the same package will i be able to access the default variables of the parent class in my child class the answer to that is yes you see i don't have any issues here so i'll be able to access the default variables of the uh, parent class within the child class and these two classes are present within the same package so scenario number three the answer is yes i may be a little fast here if you're confused with these scenarios please refer to the slides one more time so now let's go to scenario number four that involves sub packages so you see I have this sub package uh, scope within VIT University and this uh, class within the sub package scope. Now I'm creating an object of type person and I'm trying to access the default data members of person within the sub package and there is an issue. You see, I'm getting an issue. The field is not visible, so you cannot access it. So for scenario number four, the answer is no. You cannot access the default variables of a class within another class that is inside a sub package okay scenario number four the answer is no what is scenario number five it's all about two different packages so two different packages in the sense demo class is a class in a default package i am importing this v8 university dot person and i'm creating an object of type person in my demo class so i'm trying to access the default variables of the person class inside another class that is in a different package that is scenario number five you have two different packages uh, let me show you what is scenario number five here so scenario number five this is scenario number five your demo class you have a person class you have two different packages and these two classes are in two different packages can i access the default data members of the person class in this class when it is outside a package, you will not be able to access it. And that's what you're seeing here. You see, I'm trying to access the person class default variables outside the package and I'm not able to access it. What is scenario number six? It involves inheritance. And you see class employee extends person. Employee is in a different package. Person is in a different package. And we are having inheritance relationship between these two classes. And when I try to access the default data members of the person class outside the package inside a child class, I'm not able to access it. So this is uh, something that you have to keep in mind. So default variables, uh, variables with default access modifier is accessible only within the same package. You cannot access them directly outside the package, even with inheritance. Are you able to follow the behavior of uh, default access modifiers? Now, let us move on to the final uh, access modifier, protected. Let's see how they behave and let's take a look at the demonstration. Now, let us understand the behavior of protected uh, data members. So, how is that you declare a protected data member? I have shown that on the screen here. You're going to give the uh, keyword protected in front of the data member. So, protected string name, protected string address. We have two protected data members and we have this class person inside this package VT University. So what scenario one is all about is can you access protected data members within the methods of the same class? The answer to this question is yes, you can answer, you can access it. So when you have a protected data member, you can access those data members within the methods of the same class. So here you'll be able to access it. Let's go to scenario number two. Scenario number two is accessing protected data members of variables of a class within another class that resides in the same package. So you have VIT University, you have class person, two protected data members, and you have class faculty. Now these two classes are within the same package. That is the key here. Now, can I access these two protected data members within a method of this class faculty? The answer to this question is yes, you'll be able to access it. So if two classes, if they are in the same package, one of the class can access the protected data members of another class directly. So being in the same package is the key 
for accessing the variables so to answer to this is yes let's go to scenario number 3 scenario number 3 is about inheritance so you're going to have the package and a class person with two data members as protected and we are going to have another class assistant professor now assistant professor will extend person and assistant professor and class person they are going to be in the same package and now the question is can i access the protected data members within the methods of assistant professor class the answer to this question is yes whenever you talk about protected it's all about giving that to the subclasses right so the child class can inherit, inherit the protected data members and here the scenario is the child and the parent class is both they are both in the same package so the answer to this is yes you can access them scenario number four can you access protected variables of a class within another class that is present inside a sub package and there is no inheritance uh, between these classes here say you have uh, a sub package called scope inside this you have a class can i access the protected data members within the class here so the answer to this is no we don't have inheritance and this these classes are not in the same package so it's a sub package so you will not be able to access the protected data members inside the methods of another class which is present inside a sub package so the answer to scenario number four is a no let's go to scenario number five scenario number five deals with two different packages and you have protected data members in one of the classes and you have another class in another package the question here is you from within a method inside this class in a different package can i access the protected data members the answer to this is a no because there is no inheritance relationship here so you cannot access and these two classes are in two different packages definitely the answer is a no scenario number six is again you're going to have two different packages so we have a class person and we have a demo class we have an employee class here and these two classes are in two different packages and one of the classes has got two protected data members and this class employee inherits extends class person now can this class access the protected data members yes it can access because it's all about inheritance though these two classes are in two different packages since there is an inheritance relationship between these two classes the child class can very well access the protected data members of the parent class let's take a demonstration of this in eclipse now so we'll go scenario by scenario we'll start with the first scenario so how is that you declare something to be protected you give the keyword protected string name and protected string address so you give this keyword and uh, now it becomes protected variables scenario number one is all about can you access protected variables within the methods of the same class the answer is yes you can access it see there are no issues you can access protected data members within the methods of the same class what is scenario number two you have another class called uh, faculty and faculty and person are present in the same package can i access protected data members in another class within the same package but there is no inheritance relationship between these two classes you see i'm not getting any issues here so you can access it so scenario number two is an s so class person class faculty both of them are there in the same package but there is no inheritance relationship between these classes but you see here i'm able to access the protected data members of the person class inside the class faculty and i'm not getting any issues so this is another behavior that you have to be very careful about you have to know this like two classes they are not in an inheritance relationship but they are inside the same package and one class can access the protected data members of the another class that is permitted the third scenario is there is a class assistant professor and this extends the class person both these classes are inside the same package and now there is an inheritance relationship whenever you talk about inheritance of course the child class can access the protected data members of the person class so you see here i am able to access this dot name and this dot address without any issues so whenever you have inheritance you'll be able to access the protected data members yes i can access it or you are clear with the three scenarios now let's go on to the fourth scenario that is the sub package uh, scenario so here i have this sub package so scope is the sub package and I'm importing person class inside the sub package 
and here i am trying to access the see here i am trying to access the protected data members of the person class so when you go outside the package and there is no inheritance between uh, the uh, class scope faculty and the person class there's no inheritance relationship and these two classes are in two different packages as such scope faculty is within a sub package so you cannot access the protected data members from within a sub package too so the answer for scenario number 4 is no you can see you are getting issues here let's go to scenario number 5 scenario number 5 is you are going to have demo class which is present in a default package that is outside v8 university and you are trying to import a person class and you are trying to access the protected data members of the person class inside this uh, demo class so these two classes are in two different packages there is no inheritance relationship between these two classes so definitely you will not be able to access the protected data members of a class outside the class in another package so you cannot access it scenario number 5 the answer is a no scenario number 6 so you have two classes in two different packages see you see employee person employee extends person employee is in the default package person is in the wait university package now since there is an inheritance relationship employee can access the protected data members of the person class so whenever there is an inheritance relationship irrespective of whether the child class is within the package or outside the package the child class can always access the protected data members of the parent class and you see i am able to access it without any issues so that's how uh, these access modifiers behave i hope you have a very clear understanding of how public private default protected access modifiers behave within a class outside the class within the same package outside the package and with respect to inheritance if you really had any difficulty in understanding these concepts i want you to first be clear with the basics first understand packages sub packages inheritance and then come to this topic i'll be leaving the link for all the um, lectures in the description below you can just have a look at all these lectures If you have any questions please leave those questions as comments below I'll be looking at it thank you all for listening take care